Someone in my neighborhood just bought a Cybertruck, so I wrote them this awesome letter asking to see it. Lucky for us, he said yes, and you get a genuine perspective of ownership involving all the attention of driving one, likes, dislikes, and fun features regarding ownership of this Foundation Series Cybertruck. Yeah, so we got a 2024 Cybertruck here. It's kind of the home screen. A lot of different options. You can see right here, you got your you got your ride height. Uh, yesterday here in Tampa, we had some high water, so I kicked into high and just driving around, kind of going through uh, some of the high waters. Obviously, uh, with no exhaust, it can it can handle a pretty decent amount of water. Um, in regards to driving through. Some other things that haven't been released yet. You got your, your autopilot, which is your uh, full self-driving. Um, hopefully it'll be uh, come with an update in the next uh, next couple months, but I think they're trying to gather um, as much data as possible in order to release the, the autopilot. But uh, everything kind of be controlled from this uh, this home screen here. You know, it's got the, uh, it's got the different outlets. It's got one back in the bed. It's got one in the frunk. Um, nice. and, and I've this, heard they have like 220 back there. Like I saw a guy running a welder off of his. Yeah, I, I haven't really, I haven't really messed with it all. But okay. uh, yeah, I mean, I think, uh, I think, I think uh, you can pretty much uh, plug. I think I've seen people like plug anywhere from welders to toasters to Jeez. whatever else in there, right? So <laughs> awesome. I haven't really played around with it too much. But yeah, I mean, it'd be nice. Especially, I'm not into camping, but if you're into camping, yeah. I think there's actually even like a, I think there's even actually like a, a, a tent mode on here a or some, somewhere mode. where you can. Uh, I'm sure you want to see where it was, but. Uh, yeah, you like cyber tent mode. You got you got what? tent mode out there, so you can put a, a tent on the back and I guess pumps I guess, AC back. I guess, yeah, I, I, I guess so that'd be nice. That's but uh, awesome. yeah, man, so far so good. I haven't had any. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to drive. Haven't really had any you know trouble with it or whatever. And yeah. definitely uh, you know an eye catcher. Everybody wants to come and check it out. And so I was at Best Buy today, and yeah. I, I, I walked out, and there's people out there taking pictures, right? And there was a guy. And I don't think he sp you know, I don't think he spoke very good English, and I was like. You know, I was like, "Hey, man, you want to see inside?" And he's like, "He's like, yeah." And get, the guy actually gets in and sits in the car. I was like, I just started laughing. This is so funny. Uh, and, and he kind of and, and the other people are there taking pictures, and I'm kind of like, I don't, I don't know what the protocol is. You know, I, I wave. I, you know, I don't, I don't know if I should like drive off, if I should wait to get, you know, wait till they get done with their pictures. Like, I, I don't know how it works, but uh, it's just a lot of fun, man. A lot, a lot of, a lot of people like to sit there and talk about it, especially you, you run into. You know, kids all the time. Kids always, always enjoy it. Okay, so you're saying kids, and like you have kids, I have kids, and I had an old muscle car, old Pontiac GTO. It's total dude magnet. So like, you know, 40 plus year old guys will stop you at gas station. You're like, this is not, you know, it's the dude magnet. So would you say this is more like kids like it the most, adults like it the I, most? Yeah. What do you think is? You the... know, yeah, I mean, definitely uh, picking kids up from school, right? It's a big head. You know, they, yeah, they yeah, like yeah. that. All their friends like it. But but honestly, you kind of get a lot of uh, even like the older generation. Will come and talk to you about it yeah. because they just don't know what it is, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, right. Like, oh, what what spaceship you land there? Da, 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 <laughs> right. So, so I mean, all, all ages come and you know talk and check it out. Just yeah. Because I don't I don't know how many they've produced so far, but I know there's a couple you know I've seen around the Tampa Bay yeah, area, yeah. but not, it's not you know it's super prevalent at this point. The only downside, especially you know paying a premium to be one of the first people to have it, is how, how it's going to hold its value, right? Yeah, yeah. And with Teslas, even them, Teslas tend to also like drop their pricing. So, am I going to end up you know? Underwater one day, you know, in, in regards to the to the monetary standpoint, maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Um, it's got a, it's got an off road mode. Um, I think it's got some kind of uh, you know I don't know app or e even trail assist where the trail assist I think it just kind of goes at a steady speed. So okay. I, I haven't actually even really tr tried it out. Yeah, I definitely but, uh, feel like the air ride did it just kind of kick up a notch. It felt like we got taller. Yeah, yeah. I think the uh, I think the off road mode goes on, and I even was kind of tinkering with it last night with the high water. Um, I think if you're not in off-road mode and you're on the high setting, yeah. once you reach 25 miles an hour, it'll go back down to the low setting. Okay. But if you're in off-road mode, I was reading about this last night. Gotcha. If off-road mode, it'll it'll stay in the in the uh, the highest setting no matter what. Next step, I need to get it wrapped because the, the definitely the stainless steel and the fingerprints. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. I, I did I did see a. Uh, um, online, a guy that did actually got the stainless steel polished into chrome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought that was pretty legit. <laughs> yeah, we saw that. Um, we thought, but it, you know, are you going to be blinding every driver? Yeah, I, don't, out I there? don't know. I was, yeah, toss around the idea of matte black or something yeah. like that. You know, did you see the one that's over here on the? I did. Um, I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah. They, got gloss, they got a gloss black. Right? Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it looks pretty sharp. To see like the factory wrap, like what the price was, and you can't see unless you put two fifty down. Do you know so how much it was? I think the so from my understanding, the, the factory wraps somewhere between five and six thousand. Okay. But you can only get it in California at, oh. at, at this point. At this time, at this point in time, they only will do it in California. How are you getting um, used to that steering wheel? How's that? I, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't mind it, dude. The yoke. I, I thought I would like kind of, you know, not not dig it, but um, you know, I, I do like the yoke. You know, some of the things they used to in an electric car that you don't necessarily have on the thing is the every, everything's button oriented versus like levers, yeah, right? Yeah, so, yeah. you know, I was kind of like, 
it was kind of getting used to when I was driving in the in the rain last night. I'm like trying to hit the button and figure out all right, like what's the <laughs> like what you know what do I got to do from like one wiper to the other? But uh, you know, it just takes yeah. getting used to. So yeah, I love the wiper because like that's what they did like Fast and the Furious in the '90s with the one. You yeah, know, you take yeah. off and put yeah. your one wiper yeah, right on. So you're saying hold this down? Oh uh, no, so there should be a button. I think it's the top right. That so, one. Yeah, okay. Hold it down. If you hold it down, and then you, <laughs> that there you seems go. aggressive. And then it should spray. If you hold it, I think it'll spray the like the spray out. You know. There, yeah. So it comes directly. Oh, it comes right out. Comes of the, right out of the wiper. Right out of the wiper. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's so clean too. Yeah. Your mirror, like I heard, is small. But do you have any issues with that? I mean, I, I, I'm honestly gonna. I think I'm gonna try to take it off. Um, a okay. lot of people are taking it off because you, it, there's, it's pointless. You can't see out the back. Oh, gotcha. And unless oh. unless the tonneau covers down, then you can okay. see out the back. What's what's the really point? When you put got, the camera on. Yeah, you got yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. The back window. You could use the rear view mirror now if you wanted to, but if the topper, if yeah. if that was I down. I think that'd be mad if they made something like this with a third row. Instead of, instead of the truck bed, right? So. That's awesome. <laughs> That's cool. And it's got different, like, you can make it do a, a car show. You can you yeah, can make it, like, yeah, play yeah. music on the out, out exterior. Like. So I'm sure at night this is 10 times cooler. Yeah, right? yeah, it is. Yeah, kind of a night thing, dude, for sure. But yeah, 10 times cooler at night. Oh, that's cool. like the back thing sliding up and down too probably i, I don't know yeah it's doing everything <laughs> man. Like, i don't know my son is like obsessed with yeah we're, we'll take it for a ride there like you know some of the stuff i really you know mess around with i know i know the kids like to use the back monitor to, to do the youtube and the, oh yeah so this is what you're, I mean, what do they say to, to uh, take care of that? I've heard like mineral oil, I've heard some different things. Do um, you have any? You know, I haven't really, uh, honestly, I kind of just left and let the rain wash off it. But okay, and that was kind of keeping it yeah, clean? Yeah, it seemed pretty clean. Actually, I mean, I actually haven't had it washed since uh, since I got it. I'm kind of nervous to, I, don't, I definitely don't want, don't want to take it through a, uh, you know, a, a auto wash thing. I'll probably have a guy come here and wash it, but yeah. I was, I, I'm always kind of thinking, all right, I'm going to get it wrapped soon. You know what I mean? I never, never pull the trigger on the, on the wash, so. Yeah, I mean, they've been putting the stainless on the cars. I, I know everybody's kind of like, oh my gosh, keeping it clean. But the, I, I pr currently have uh, parts on Marketplace from my car from the 60s that were the stainless steel rocker yeah. trim on the GTO. So it's like they've been putting them on the cars for ever you know, yeah people get nervous about years. rust i'm not really nervous about it you can you can see where the, the cap the caps are missing where they didn't ship them yet i mean you can oh, kind of see some like yeah. oxide in there but i mean it's not really people are like oh it's rusted i'm like, ah, I'm like yeah that, that's nah, a, it's just normal like you know wearing just normal oxide that's no different than if you're your brake help yeah let me, let me pop the pop the front for you here so are, have they i mean i've heard about like the 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 frunk with the cutting off fingers and carrots and stuff and i know that they're kind of I don't know if they worked it. They got a software out for that yet. Yeah, I think they. I think they did release they did a, an update, update to make it close a little, uh, a little smoother, less aggressively. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. My wife was like, "Oh yeah, you know, you're gonna get your, you know, fingers chopped off by the frunk." And I'm like, "Listen, you put you put your you put your uh, you put your finger in any door and, and slam it, dude. I mean, you're gonna have. Um, I mean, you're gonna have issues. You know what I'm saying? So yeah." It's, you know, it comes with a Tesla app, just like the other Teslas. But yeah, I mean, it's good for, you know, the, the front's good for storing groceries. Yeah. Um, people put hooks in there where, you know, you can put the grocery bags on there. So I haven't kind of got into that yet. So I'm sure your kids, have they tried climbing in there yet? Or yeah, they climb of... all over it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for that's, sure. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. So the attention is a little bit annoying ish but also kind of awesome oh, it just it, depends if you're in a hurry it's fun yeah it's, it's fun unless yeah it's fun unless you're in a hurry 100 percent. so um, I, don't, I don't mind you know people coming up taking pictures talking about it you know it's really it's really fun um you know people like i said you know some guy came and said it today so it's it, it's, it's it's really fun except if you're in a hurry in a hurry i yeah, kind of feel rude like hey sorry i gotta gotta go but. yeah be like yeah I, I get it it's cool it's new but <laughs> right right uh, right right well and, and the other thing is kind of crazy too is you get people that are like one I mean, like one guy stopped on the middle of 60 and like basically like pulled over and was like talking to me about it like hey, what do you pay i'm on the list uh, duh. And, like cars are like trying to get around him i mean it's kind of crazy but you'll see people like you know just you know they'll roll down the window they'll start waving they'll start talking to you they'll start yelling pointing taking pictures you know so it's like it's kind of it's kind of fun too so when did you go on the list like when was your when did you hold your spot do you have even like a rough idea or um 
so so I mean again everybody got on, we got on list you know it was a couple years ago right okay. and all of a sudden um, they started sending out emails saying hey if you want to do the foundation series you know you yep. basically kind of get bumped at the front of the line so I, I think I got that email um, I think I got that email like very early March and it was about 45 days from the date that they I put in that email saying hey I wanted it to the to they said hey come pick it up okay so okay um, and, and really I mean it's kind of you do everything through the app all the financing and everything else comes through the app. Um, and then also they just arrange your pickup day. You go to Tesla and you know, there's a lady there and she's no. kind of like, oh, there it is. I mean, she was more worried. I mean, I think she was kind of annoyed at her job because you had all these people coming into the dealership to try to look at it and test drive. But there was this one plus one other there and they're both claimed by people. And yeah. so she was like, didn't want people to like interrupt our experience, which I understand that, but it also kind of made her annoyed. You know, she was kind of annoyed that people wanted to see, yeah, get this thing out of here. So uh, she wasn't mean. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. She yeah. wasn't mean, but she just seemed we, like a... Uh, we just got our Y last week and then we got our three from her a while ago. The same kind of thing where she's like, can I help you guys? And we're like, what do we do? Because it was our first time. She's like, you can go home now. And we're like, okay, cool. Like we were just... She just thought we knew. Like hanging out, know? yeah. So I didn't know how to even, like, I, like, dude, I had to go to YouTube. Like, I was like, I'm, she was like, oh, you know, walk around, check it out. I had to go to YouTube, like, all right, how do I open the door? You know, I'm like, hey, you got any pointers for me? She's like, yeah, you know, take it, take it. She's like, drive around the, the, the lot a couple of times because the steer by wire takes a little bit to get used to. I'm like, okay, fair enough. And then she's like, just go for it. And I'm like, all right, easy, easy enough. So, so. That's funny. Yeah, it's got so it's got the front and then it's also got the the the, uh, the trunk in the back, which you can. Oh, I got awesome. a bunch of golf clubs stuff back there now, but it's it's. I mean, it's pretty. Uh, I mean, it's pretty spacious as far as you know, a lot of storage. I honestly though, I kind I kind of wish, being as I don't necessarily haul that much stuff, I, I kind of wish they would actually make it. I, I wanted a Tesla, but I was I I, I, I I wasn't a huge fan of the the, the SUV, and I I kind of wish that they would make this into it, like kind of a similar design or you know into a yeah. bigger a bigger SUV than they make, right? Because yeah. I, don't, I don't necessarily use the truck bed except for junk, and I, it would be nice to have a, a second, you know, a third row of seats in the in the very back. So. Yeah. So if this is kind of like you're saying came up higher, like a Yukon, yeah, then that would be a little bit 100, better. 100, yeah, hundred percent. I would take I would take a third row all day long over over a truck bed, right? Now, so. now I see you got golf clubs back here. Did you notice any like leaking? Because it's been raining here. You, you know what? I actually I'll, I'll pop the thing down. Yeah, you yeah. know, what? the only thing I, the only thing I saw uh, was was very minor, and and I think we had a, like I had a couple bags right back here, and it was just a, it was a little bit wet over there, but it wasn't like I've had this all this stuff in here all since the rain, and it wasn't it didn't get soaked or anything. That, I've heard some people have issues with with the uh you know the ceiling of this cover but i i, I have not so yeah and I, and I had just got rid of my tacoma today and it would always get water bad you know like down in the back back yeah. corners and i have a topper yeah. over it so the yeah. fact that you just had a little puddle considering how much rain we have yeah and you're up on a hill i don't know if that affects anything but yeah so. wow that's cool so what are what is like um if you have anything you dislike about it so far like what's what's like your biggest dislike so far hmm. That's a good. That's a good question. I mean, I would take. I, I would take. I think there is an option to buy a range extender to get more than the 250 miles, but I think it's like a 15 to 20 thousand dollar additional Jeez. upgrade, and I think it takes away term, some of your trunk space. So I think that would be the limiting factor. It's just some of the. I think the range. I mean, okay. two, 250 to have 250 miles. Hey, that's great around town. No problem. Go back and forth to work. But if you're going any kind of uh, significant distance, you know, 250 just not. It doesn't. It, it do, doesn't seem to get very far and also when you're driving it like i don't know if it's i don't know if it's mile for mile decrease it seems like you know my work is only maybe like 10 miles you know five to ten miles away but it'll drain you know 15 to 20 to 30 miles on the on the range i think that'd be my, my biggest dislike it'd be nice if it was like maybe like 350 instead of 250 yeah, I think yeah from a yeah. range standpoint well the um, one that was supposed to be coming out because I, I signed up from one too and it was like 500 you know for the beast i don't know if that's the one that had like the three the motors three motor, whatever, yeah, that's right, you know? yeah, but i know that that was one of the projected thing was like 500 mile range towing 11,000, all these different stats so 500 would have got you to georgia no no problem yeah, whatsoever yeah you know, charge yeah. ones come home but yeah come on don't we so there is no uh parking dongle like you'd see on the wire the three it's nope. over here so yep. As if I'm going forward. There you go, man. You're, you're good to go. I think you should, yep. So it says swipe, park. Swipe all, yeah, so you swipe all the way. So yeah, you got your park, your rear, your neutral drive. Okay. So, so you're swiping up, dude. Now you're in drive. Okay. And if you want to park, you just hit, hit, you hit tap and pat, then pat, reverses tap, it. Reverse down. Yeah. All right. So here we are. Thank you so much for letting me drive your Cybertruck. This is an awesome opportunity. Wow. All right. Well, we'll go onward. Oh, this is awesome.
Wow. So it feels really big on the front end. Yeah, it's, it's hard, uh, I guess kind of going back to the other, like I would say, complainer drawback, but it does not have uh, any front. The sensors in the parking, you're just not really sure how, like, how you know, close or far away you are from the car in front of you to park. And I, I think that would be one of the things that they would update to make sure that you have front front end cameras and, you know, more parking sensors, I think would be would be ideal. Um, if you're going in reverse, I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just the, the front end parking and not getting used to how shallow this car is. That window is awesome. Okay, my favorite thing yeah, what's it? your favorite thing about this? Oh, uh, I, th I think it's just the uniqueness, man. Honestly, <laughs> you know, there's just nothing really out there like it. Um, yeah, I think that's my favorite favorite thing. It's just kind of the difference. Yeah, I don't think anyone could even possibly tell from a video, but like if I threw my phone up there. Yeah, it, somebody's it's... like you could actually sleep. Like a kid could actually. <gasps> what was that? Did you find the noise buttons? Yeah, I found the whoopee cushion. The, the fart noises. That's why every kindergartner likes Teslas. Yep, there you go, man. You found it, dude. Do that. You found it. So what were you saying, somebody? Yeah, about? I mean, I, my, my buddy was joking. It's like, dude, if you had a, you had a kid up there, you could, you could actually like sleep up there. Like, your son could fit up there, right? Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, crazy, I could right? lie both of them. Yeah. Like, I could lie yeah. up there. I'm not very big. That's that's nuts. A huge shout out to the owner of this Cybertruck for taking us along and sharing his experience of ownership. This is a great inside perspective to all of us that are wondering what's going on inside one of these awesome beasts. I cannot wait to hopefully see more of these on the road. When you see them on the road, Holy cow, they just look like a giant awesome tank, spaceship, you name it, coming down the road. So uh, great experience, and thank you so much for letting us see this awesome machine.